Paul Vergar Airport, situated on the Faroe Islands. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the tablet. The tablet is an important part of the gameplay, as it's your primary source of information. It features everything you need to know to be able to perform tasks on the ground. In the first tab from the left, named Operations, you'll discover and find all data about incoming and outgoing flights you're due to handle. In the Map tab, as the name suggests, there's a map of the airport displaying your current position and all available vehicles and aircraft to be used. And in the final tab named Weather, you'll find all the options available to manipulate weather conditions at your present location. We shall discuss each of these tabs in detail. The screen is divided into two columns. The left-hand side acts as a timetable for all flights that are scheduled to take place at the airport on the present day, but divided into arrivals and departures. At the top, there's a button that filters the flights and shows only the ones you're assigned to handle on the day. Each flight is displayed in an ordered grid where all the information you'll need is displayed. Arrival time, flight number, arrival or departure location, and stand number are located on the left. The right-hand side displays a list of tasks you'll have to complete when handling the aircraft. To view the tasks are arranged in the order in which they should be completed. When you complete an action, it will be crossed off, and those which are yet to be performed have empty markers on the left side of each task title. Now we'll head to the map tab. Whilst at Vagar, you won't need the map too much. However, at larger airports such as Keflavik or Warsaw, it will be a major player in getting to where you need to be. The map features will show you the quickest route to your destination and, in addition, the location of available airport vehicles, aircraft and aircraft stands. Pretty much everything to help you navigate the apron. To navigate the map, use the controls displayed on screen. displayed on screen. To rotate the view, use the controls displayed on screen. The GPS view is always centered on your position and rotates around it. And finally, the weather tab. At the top, you'll notice that two different clocks are displayed. The first one from the left displays the local time at the airport, and the second one shows UTC time, which is used as a common time zone in aviation. UTC time is calculated relative to the prime meridian passing through the famous town in the United Kingdom, Greenwich, which is also known as the center of time. Below the clocks, you'll find a slider that allows you to manipulate the time in airport sim. And under the slider, you'll find a calendar, where you can select any date. Try it for yourself, and see how the height of the sun changes depending on the time of year. The Live button will automatically set the date, time and weather conditions to what they currently are in your present location. In this instance, the weather data is fetched and based upon the most recent METAR weather data at Vagar Airport. The Apply button is used to apply the selected time in-game. At the very bottom, there are weather presets that you will be able to select to recreate predefined weather conditions. 
Some selected conditions, such as cloud cover and storm, cannot be manipulated once applied. Using the sliders, you'll be able to change and adjust individual weather conditions. On the left, there is a visualization of the cloud height. The lower line corresponds to the height of the cloud base above sea level. The upper line displays the height of cloud tops above sea level. Adjustments of weather conditions are done in real time and do not need to be applied like time changes. Good job! You've now learned how to use the tablet in Airport Sim. In the next tutorial, you'll be on your way to learning the basics of ground handling.